Hi, girls and boys. Today, I would like to talk about pollination. You all know what seeds are, right? In order to get a new plant, you have to plant a seed in the ground. Well, the question then is, where do seeds come from? Seeds come from flowers. And in order to get a seed, you have to send pollen from one flower to another flower. Pollen is this fine powder. It's often yellow colored, but not always. And this process of sending pollen from one flower to another flower is called pollination. How many parts of the flower can you name? The petals are the pretty part of the flower. They often have very pretty colors. The anthers are the part that produces the pollen. The pistil is the part of the flower where the pollen lands. The pollen has to grow down through the pistil in order to make a seed, but it has to grow in the pistil in the flower on another plant. How do you think the pollen gets from the flower of one plant to the flower on another plant? There are two ways to move pollen from one flower to another. One is wind. The second way is using different kinds of animals. Let's start with wind pollination. Now, pollen, which is a really fine powder, just blows in the wind from one flower to another flower. Now these flowers don't have to be colorful and they don't even have to smell good because wind doesn't care. Now animals can carry pollen too, but they need to go to a flower for some reason to gather the nectar or it smells good or something like that. So they'll carry it by accident as they visit one flower and then go to another flower. Now these animals that carry the pollen are called pollinators. Let's talk about the different kinds of pollinators. First, the hummingbirds. They go to flowers to get nectar and they especially like long red flowers. And so when they stick their beak in the flower, the pollen will stick to their head. And when they go to another flower, they accidentally drop the pollen off at the next flower. The next group of pollinators are the bats. And guess what kind of flowers they like? Flowers that open at night, of course, because bats fly at night. And they too go looking for nectar and they get pollen on their heads. And then when they go to the next flower, they accidentally leave some pollen behind and pollinate. Other pollinators include the insects. Many different kinds of insects can be pollinators. I'm just gonna talk about two, the butterflies and the bees. First, the butterflies. You all know what butterflies are. They're pretty, they like to go to flowers, and they have a long tongue for reaching the nectar down in the flower. And just like the other groups, when they go to another flower, they have pollen on their head, and they pollinate. Now we're gonna talk about the most important group of pollinators of all, the bees. Why do you think they're so important? There's two reasons. First reason, there's so many different kinds of bees. Just in Costa Rica, there are hundreds of different kinds. It's not just the honeybee, that's just one. There's hundreds of others. The second reason is that unlike any other group of pollinators, the bees collect pollen and they bring the pollen and the nectar back to the nest to feed their babies. which means they need to visit a lot of flowers because they've got hungry babies to feed. And they have special things on their body for carrying the pollen. It can be on their hind legs, or it could be on their belly, where they carry the pollen back to the nest. 
And that's why bees are the most important group of pollinators. Yay! And now, some fun facts about pollination. Fun fact number one, not all bees sting. You know that the honeybee can sting and it really hurts, but there's a group called the stingless bees that don't have a stinger. Now they can get into your hair. In Spanish, they call them in reda pelo, and, but they don't sting. Fun fact number two, did you know there's a, some flowers that really stink? Like this one that smells like yucky rotting meat. And the reason they smell like that is they attract flies because flies are their pollinators. The fly thinks it's rotting meat. So they go visiting it and they get fooled. It's really a flower and they end up pollinating it. Fun fact number three, it related to the last one. Some flies are pollinators and some flies look just like bees, like this one. Well, boys and girls, I hope you learned something about pollination and why it's so important to take care of our plants and the animals that pollinate them.